The next award is for Best Musical, which this year goes to Billy Elliot. And um, I've asked, and I'm delighted that he has agreed to uh, do it, uh, to present this award. I have asked uh, one of the stars of the, uh, one of the principal dancers of the American Ballet Theater. He's also uh, the dean of the School of Dance at the North Carolina School of the Arts. Um, I hope you'll join me in, in, uh, in welcoming one of New York's great dancers, Ethan Stiefel. meaningful to me, um, although it's bittersweet because I've been dancing my ass off for 20 years and all of a sudden one show comes along and uh, all of a sudden it's legit. <laughs> but, uh, um, that, that really is the point um, uh, and, and why I'm so, so proud of the show and was so deeply moved, especially by those three young men um, who, who play Billy. Um, truly inspirational and uh, I was like, man, I wish this show uh, would have been around 20 plus years ago um, because I would have given a, a crack at it and that would have been fun, but I think uh, actually they're, they're in better hands because I would have managed to mess it up somehow. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the reason to me why the show is, is so powerful and so profound um, is not only because uh, I am a ballet dancer and, and live and breathe that, uh, that profession, but uh, it, it brings to light so many different things, um, the frustrations, um, it uh, investigates uh, uh, so many things on a number of level, and also celebrates uh, what it is that, uh, that we do. And uh, going back to the frustration, I, I certainly get frustrated because um, so many times when we're, we're talking about uh, what it is uh, to be a male ballet dancer and, and what those struggles are, uh, people are like, well, that's really a thing of the past and, and that's a cliché. Um, and that's not, uh, that's not true at all. And I, I have a letter with me tonight that I'd like to, to share with you um, because I am a dean, go figure, um, <laughs> down at uh, the, the School of the Arts. And I had a young man who auditioned um, about a month ago. His name is Tommy. And I think it basically uh, embraces the spirit and again gets to the point of uh, why the show is, uh, is so powerful and meaningful, not only to uh, performers and artists and and dancers, but to, uh, to so many people. So it goes like this. Uh, Dear Ethan Stiefel, before I begin this letter, I wish to reiterate how being accepted into this program is thrilling. The simple thought that people as talented and passionate as you and your teachers would even consider me for such a remarkable program has changed my view of this amazing art form. I have begun to look at each day as a new opportunity in which to improve myself and my future as a dancer. The future shines bright. But unfortunately, there is a larger problem that has plagued my family for years. My father does not want me to be a dancer. He is concerned about me investing my life in this, quote, dying art, as he calls it. He is worried about me losing all the talent and opportunities that I have in other aspects of my life in, my, uh, of my life in pursuit of this one dream. He cannot understand my passion, that I would die with this art if I could live in it, that I would that if I had to lose all my other skills to trade in for just a year as a professional dancer, I would do so without reservation or regret. My father has always agreed to pay for my formal education. He does not believe that this program is part of that. I must now try to, I must now try other venues. Sorry, I'm a dean, but I can't read. Um, I must now try other avenues within my power to secure my future as a dancer. I've always had to support my dance interests, including camps, master classes, transportation, fees, shoes. I'm humbly asking for more scholarship aid to make my dream possible. More money will make the opportunity to come to your program possible, but even if I'm denied the extra money, I will still find a way. This is my dream, and I will not be deterred. I will find a way to make that dream a reality. Yeah, that wasn't a fundraising. <laughs> um, and that, that's from Tommy Burnett in, in Salt Lake City. So the struggle is still there. 
it still happens. And so I am most grateful that a show like this has come along to shed some light on how difficult it is and the challenges that a young man might face to become an artist, performer, or a dancer. Um, but also, I will present this award um, with a sense of celebration. Because as well, um, you know, if we investigate what it is to be a man, to be manly or masculine, certainly that involves strength and power, uh, fortitude. Um, but I think uh, more often than not, especially in these times, we forget about elegance and grace, sophistication, sensitivity, and, uh, and caring. And the show investigates that and shows us that uh, you can be masculine and you can be a man and you can be an artist and you can share all of those wonderful characteristics and attributes with other people to positive effect. And so I, again, am, am, am grateful and I'm honored because uh, I'm so passionate about what I do and I'm so happy that uh, this show, um, besides being just uh, a, a wonderful kick-ass show, entertaining, fun, great music, uh, great performances, all that, um, to me is, is really on a mission and is spreading the word that uh, what we do, all artists, what we do is important and there's someone out there fighting to make it happen just like Billy. So there's a bit of Billy in, in all of us and certainly I believe that Billy lives in Tommy, the young man that wrote that letter. Um, so again, with deep respect and uh, also in celebration of uh, the art of dance and ballet, I would like to, uh, is this the time? I would like to uh, present Billy Elliott with the award for Best Musical. Thank you. two things clear that we wanted to make the social context deeper and we wanted to make sure it was a unique in the end a unique theatrical experience because theatre is our natural home um, but it's been a struggle I can't tell you it hasn't been a struggle it's been a struggle to make the show and it's a struggle because of course you have to find train rehearse maintain um, the boys in the show and we are blessed in that struggle with the adult company who are with us tonight, led by the incomparable Hayden Gwynn and Greg Tabar and Carol. <laughs> I have to say I love unconditionally. <laughs> um, but the experience I think for me of the show is a little bit like the experience I had the other day when I went to the Bronx um, Zoo for the first time. I went to the, uh, I went to the Butterfly World. And um, watching these boys take flight each night and in the process of our show is possibly one of the moving experiences of my life. And I think the video it has been one of the most seminal and important and moving experiences I've ever been involved in. Watching these kids take flight. And it is very much like Butterfly World. Um, it's been an extraordinary experience for me. It's been an extraordinary experience for us. To be here on Broadway is an honor in itself. We can't quite believe we are here. Mm -hmm. To be celebrated to be here is humbling, and I can't tell you how thrilling it is as well. We're having a great time. I'm so happy that you celebrated us. I'm so happy you celebrated our boys and our cast. On behalf of Lee, on behalf of Elton, thank you so much. Thank you so much for allowing us to be here.